Hello, this is Paul with Archer Services. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to prepare your backflow for your irrigation system for a freeze, or just winterize it for the entire winter. I have two different types of backflows here. The one in my hands is a PVB. This is the most common type of backflow for our area. Uh, the one right here is an RPZ. Um, and that's another type that's not too common for residential properties. There's also double checks. So to winterize one of these devices to where you know for sure that you're not going to have to worry about it freezing, one thing that you can do is you can cover the entire device with either a trash can or a large waste basket but you want to make sure that you get it completely over the device and down against the ground. Uh, the key to that is against the ground because in order to keep this device from freezing if there's water in it, to get heat in there is to be against the ground so that you're drawing heat from the ground. What we do is we'll come in and we will empty the device of all water. So here we have our ball valve, which is what we call an isolation valve on an irrigation system. This is the main line coming from the meter going to your backflow device. This is how you can shut off your irrigation water supply without shutting off the water supply to your house. This, so you would just reach down here and turn this off. This one is already off. So here is an example of a ball valve of what is down there in the ground. Ball valves are pretty much universally, this is the off position where the handle is cutting across the valve. When it is in line with the valve, that is the on position. Once you have turned off the isolation valve, then what you want to do is you leave these both in the open position and all of these have what they call test cocks. Again, they have little miniature ball valves on them. You want to open those up. That is the open position there. And then open up the ends and you will have an open port to the inside of this backflow device. Open both of those up and then just give the whole device a good little shake and get as much of the water out of there as you can and then just leave it like that. That way there is not pressurized water in there and the device cannot freeze. The absolute worst thing you can do to a backflow device is to leave the water supply on, come out and turn this backflow off and just do that. If you come out and you just turn these off and leave it up to the insulation on here, it will freeze. You can see here is an example of one that freezes. When you turn this off, it, low, it raises the freeze point on these devices by I would say at least 10 to 15 degrees. Just below freezing will cause these to burst like this. If you do absolutely nothing to the device, that is much, much better than turning these into the off position. If you do not have the isolation valve to where you can empty the device of water, the best thing is to do nothing or completely cover it with a trash can. That's it.